everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of Tesla and exploring one of their newest products, the Tesla Inverter. If you're into renewable energy or just love tech, you're gonna love this. So let's get started and see what's in this top secret box. My name is Anthony Sicari, owner of New York State Solar Farm. We are a Hudson Valley based residential solar installer specializing in custom solar installations of standalone solar, solar plus battery, ground mounts, and home electric vehicle charging installs. All right, so here it is. This is a Tesla inverter that we just received from our distributor, CED Green Tech. They were nice enough to send this over to us. We're gonna use this on an install uh, in the near future, but let's get into this. This is the first time I'm unboxing the Tesla inverter and seeing it in person. Now keep in mind, we've used tons of Tesla inverters because the Tesla inverters are in their cars. They're also in the Powerwall 3. So this unit is inside of the Powerwall 3 encasement already, but this is just a standalone inverter. So this is for the homeowners that are just getting solar, not a battery at this point in time. They can couple this with their solar system. So let's get right into it and check out what this battery looks like and how it comes from the factory. Keep in mind, this is top secret. There we go. All right, we got a box inside of a box here. So this is the way it comes in. I don't know if you know from the Tesla gateway and um, the power walls, the Tesla gateway has a glass front cover. I believe the Tesla inverter does as well and that's in here. So we'll check that out. This is the front cover. And here's the Tesla inverter. So you could see it right from here. It comes with owner's guide. I'm assuming this is the, black, the, the back plate to mount it onto the wall. Here we go. There it is, Tesla solar inverter. It's kind of it's kind of beefy. It's definitely heavier than the Tesla Gateway. We have the Tesla Gateway down there. This thing weighs at least at least thirty pounds. Nothing too crazy, but if we look at the internal components of it, you can see here the cooling fans, communication. Looks like that's for cellular it comes with cellular, Wi-Fi, and Ethernet is how you can connect them. And here they are. So one, two, three, and four, it's got four MPPTs and you could see them, see them right there. So that's the unit itself. This is a 7.6 kW Tesla inverter. Now let's open this up. We can check this out. I'm assuming this is the back plate for it. This is what you, uh, you would mount to the sheetrock wall or block wall in your basement. This goes on and then the inverter hangs on to the back of it, clips right in there. So that's our, that's our back plate. And then we'll open this up. This should be the glass front cover. This is the part when we're doing the solar install that our crew has to leave by itself until it's time to install it so we don't crack it. Otherwise, we're gonna be ordering new ones from Tesla. But this is, this should be it. So that's pretty sweet. Wow, Tesla even says inverter on it so you don't confuse it with the gateway. I was wondering if it was gonna say something different than the gateway, just so people didn't mix them up. But there it is, that's the cover of the Tesla inverter. Never put one of these on before, and I don't like to read directions, so let's see if we could get this on. Sweet, cover's on. So there it is, there's our Tesla inverter in all of its glory. That's how it would look when it's hanging um, in the home. So you would have panels on the roof, 
from the panels, you would have the mid-circuit interrupters from each string and then going directly into your Tesla inverter. And then from the Tesla inverter, it's gonna be going um, right into your point of connection. So that's, that's pretty sweet. But yeah, there's an unboxing of the Tesla 7.6 inverter and we can't wait to start using this on some of our customers' homes. Now let's talk about why it makes sense for Tesla to come out with a standalone solar inverter. Tesla has produced over 2 million electric vehicles and all of them have inverters inside of them. They have deployed over 600,000 power walls and other energy storage products. They also have inverter components inside of them. So really when you think about it, Tesla probably has some of the most experience in the industry when it comes to making inverters. So why not make one for themselves? Something else that Tesla is doing here by going to a string inverter and getting away from a microinverter and optimizers is they're going back to a first principles way of thinking, trying to solve the problem with as little hardware on the roof as possible. This means there are fewer components on the roof that can fail. Instead of having one of these behind each panel, you have one of these down below for the whole system. This helps in maintaining the system because when the inverter does fail, you can just take this inverter off of the house or the garage and replace it, unlike a microinverter system where you have to harness up, get your ladder up, get on the roof and remove that panel and then replace the microinverter that's under the panel. Now I'm not steering people away from microinverters. This is not a sales pitch for the Tesla inverter. This is just me showing the features of the Tesla inverter and why Tesla decided to make this unit in my opinion. There's some pretty cool features and it's amazing the way they incorporated the MCIs with rapid shutdown for this device. Another reason I believe Tesla made this inverter is that when they bought SolarCity, SolarCity had installed countless systems with inverters that are now failing. Getting inverter replacements from these companies is near impossible. So why not make your own and solve the problem in-house? Installing the Tesla inverter is pretty straightforward. This is what we used to install on our projects before we started using microinverters. For our install team, it's actually a little less work than installing microinverters, but it did take some getting used to. When you go solar with us, we take care of the entire process. The only thing you need to do is check your solar app when your system is up and running. Now let's talk about the warranty because it's important to know what you're covered for. The Tesla inverter comes with a 12 and a half year warranty. So if this does fail, the inverter and labor to replace the inverter are fully covered. There's also a device called the MCI or shutdown device that comes with the inverter and goes under the solar modules on the roof. The MCI device has a 25 year warranty. This MCI device is essential for safety and shutting down the system in the event of an emergency. Once it's set up, you can monitor your system with the Tesla app. I have this app for myself in my home. It shows you everything in real time and provides you insights on your energy savings. The integration with the Tesla app makes it easy to keep track of your energy production and usage, offering a seamless user experience. Also, if you have other Tesla products or are considering them in the future, they will all integrate seamlessly into the app. Your car, your power wall, as well as your inverter. Now let's get into some of the details. The Tesla inverter is designed with multiple maximum power point trackers or MPPTs. An MPPT is a feature that allows the inverter to extract the maximum possible power from each solar panel by optimizing the voltage and current. The Tesla inverter has four MPPTs, which means it can handle multiple strings of panels that might be facing in different directions or experiencing different amounts of shading at any given time. This flexibility is a big advantage because it helps ensure you're getting the most energy out of your solar panels, no matter the conditions that your roof is experiencing. Let's discuss the levelized cost of energy or LCOE as we call it. This is a way to measure the overall cost of your solar energy system, taking into account the initial setup, cost, maintenance, and the total energy produced over its lifetime. According to Tesla's white paper, their inverter design significantly lowers the LCOE 
compared to traditional setups. This is achieved through high efficiency, fewer component failures, and easier installation and maintenance. Over the system's lifetime, these factors contribute to making the inverter a cost-effective choice for your home. Here are some key features that make the Tesla inverter stand out. Number one, it's a high efficiency. It converts 98% of the energy from DC to AC, which means you lose very little energy. It's a sleek design. It looks good and doesn't take up much space at all. Durability, it's built to last, just like Tesla's cars, thanks to its robust design and fewer points of failure. Sleek monitoring platform, all built into one app. 0.5% revenue grade metering, which means your solar production readings are held to the highest standard of accuracy. Mitigate shading and mismatch strings with broad design and flexibility. Leverage four maximum power point trackers per inverter. A very wide string voltage range supporting from two solar panels all the way up to 12 solar panels on a string. The ability to design strings in uneven numbers. You could have four on one and eight on another, as well as consumption and production monitoring where you could see what your home is using and what the solar is producing. So if you're thinking about going solar or upgrading your system, let us know in the comments below. Would you use the Tesla inverter on your system? Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more videos on tech and renewable energy. See you next time. We were